Hello everyone. Have a nice day. In this video, I will show on how to program pulse instruction in ladder. This program is applicable in all pulse motors. Such as, stepper motors, servo motors, and linear actuators. In your KV studio, open new project, then select KVN60 PLC. Then type the project name you want. And click OK. Then right click KVN60 and select CPU positioning parameter setting. In CPU positioning parameter setting window, we can select axis number we want to configure. We will configure only axis 1 now. In positioning point number 1 operation mode, we can select whether positioning incremental, positioning absolute, speed control clockwise or speed control counterclockwise. But now we will use positioning absolute. You can click show assignments so that you can see assigned devices. Your servo target position is from CM8000 to CM8001, double word. Then your acceleration rate is CM8002, single word. Then your deceleration rate is CM8003, single word. And your servo speed is CM8004 to CM8005, double word. Then we will leave stop sensor and travel after stop sensor to default. You can configure other axis if you need it. Then in point common setting, the default minimum speed is 200. You can change it depending on the actual speed calculation result. Then in your input output setting, if you are using origin sensor, then you can connect in R0 in axis 1. Here, you can change your sensor polarity whether NO or NC. Since our IAI Pecan CB has no origin sensor. We will select CR8014. You can configure other axis if you need it. We will leave stop sensor and Z phase to default since we did not use it. And also we can change our clockwise and counterclockwise sensor polarity. Here you can select your output type whether 1 pulse or 2 pulse. But we will choose 1 pulse because we are using IAI AK04. Pulse Converter. The IAI AK04 Pulse Converter converts the signal from one pulse to two pulse signal. For more details, you can refer to IAI Pecan CB manual. But if you are using stepper or servo, you don't need it. Then here, you can select whether forward or reverse pulse. Then in your origin return setting. Your startup speed is 200. Then your acceleration is 10, deceleration is 10. And your operation speed is 1000 pulse per second or hertz. Then you can select whether forward or reverse origin return direction. And you can choose what origin method you need. But we will not use this method, because IAI has its own built-in origin return function. But if you are using stepper or servo, you can choose origin sensor rising edge. And we will leave the rest in default.
and also you can see its device assignment. You can change this device's value in ladder if you want. Then in your jog setting. Your default startup speed is 500. Then your jog acceleration is 10. Your deceleration is 10. And your jog high speed is 5000. You can also change this value in your ladder, using move instruction. And we will leave comparator setting to it default settings. Then click apply. And now we are ready to program our ladder. First we will on our servo. R508 is connected to servo on terminal. Second, we will program driver alarm reset. R509 is connected to driver's reset terminal. Third, we will program jog operation. Then specify the unit number, fixed this to zero, because this is built-in function. Then specify the axis number you want to control. Then our origin return, first we will origin our IAIP con CB built-in origin return function. R510 is connected to driver's home terminal. If you are using stepper or servo, you don't need this. Since we have no origin sensor, we will change our current coordinate to zero. First we need to know the special device for axis 1 current coordinate change setting. Our axis 1 current coordinate change setting is CM8824. We will move 0 to CM8824 to CM8825, signed double word. Or you can simply type current coordinate, and select CM8824. Then after moving 0 to axis 1 current coordinate change setting, 
followed by current coordinate change request. Our current coordinate change request is CR8004. Our origin return for IAIP con CB is now completed. But don't worry, if you are using stepper or servo with origin sensor. Here is the origin method for you. Then we need to know the origin return completed device. Our origin return completed device is CR8405. Our origin return operation for stepper is now completed. Take note. This program is only an example on what type of instruction you need to input. Now. This is what you are waiting for, a positioning control. First set your target position or coordinate. Second, set your acceleration rate. Then set our deceleration rate. And set your operation speed. and followed by positioning operation instruction. Then we need to identify our positioning completed device. Our positioning completed relay is CR8401. Our example program is now ready for conversion. Our program is now ready to transfer to PLC.